just head on to a couple of non-time based charts. This is Renko. So I think I've got okay, I've got this on CAD yen. But the principle is exactly the same. I've got time uh, strung out below. This is 15, this is all pretty quick. 15 second, 30 second, and one minute. And then at the top here, I've got the equivalent. So in other words, I've actually, if I change this, just check it's the right speed. If I click on that, that's 15 second. That'll pop up and tell me what brick size I need to be trading on 15 second. Okay, it's delivering eight. There we go. There we are. So we're on uh, point eight, we're on uh, eight and that. And then we just click over onto here. We go to 30 second here. Just update that one. That's on 11. There we go. And over onto the last one, which is running at a minute. So we'll just click on that. And that delivers our optimal brick size for the CAD yen at the moment in this session. And this is constantly changing. But it's delivering the optimal setting, the optimal brick size. There's no guesswork involved. You don't have to decide what you're going to trade. The, the indicator delivers it to the required. In other words, you're trading in harmony with the market. You're trading at the same speed of the market. There's no guesswork involved. And the Renko chart is just a great way of blending uh, trading with a time-based chart. So below we have the time-based chart, gives us all the information. Yet yeah, we've got a volatility trigger here. So we've got a volatility candle. So we're expecting the market to congest. It did here, comes back off, comes back off into the VPOC. Now from a trading perspective now, what we're looking for is a break away from that region. You can see the volume falling away here. We've got the trend monitor turning blue to help us stay in this, this particular position. Very quick, I know it's on 15 second, but the principles I keep saying are exactly the same whether you're on these sorts of charts where you're applying VPA and you're blending it with a time-based chart which gives you a non-time-based chart which gives you the raw momentum of the market and the same is true in terms of trading using tick charts got this set up there we go we're on tick charts here we're on the back to the Aussie yen again I've got the 15 second here but I've got the three tick charts here and we're just going to adjust these this is on now 89 tick This is on 144, so that's fine. That's on 377, so we're running at the right speed now. And what the tick speedometer does is it gives you a heads up in terms of momentum in the market from a tick perspective, because if this is running slow, then really what we're looking for as an intraday trader, it's now starting to tick up to medium. You can see the speed of the market starting to pick up a little bit. We want to see that reflected on these faster time frames. Again, these are very fast. This is on... 30 second, this is on a minute, I think. Yep, and that's on two minute, the one at the bottom. So what we're looking for constantly is a view on participation, a view on activity. And it's one of the ways that you use the tick speedometer because it tells you at the moment what's it saying at the moment. It's really, that's just changed to orange, but it was originally just red. So we had red here, red here, red here, it's slow. In other words, it's saying, look, just for the time being, the markets are a little bit sluggish. We've gone through the London Open. We are just waiting. We're at a pause point, just waiting for the next phase of price action to develop. So again, like the time, like the Renko charts, when you're trading on a non-time based chart, like a tick chart or a Renko chart, what they reveal is momentum. As this market picks up speed, so these candles will build quicker and ever faster because that's the nature of the chart it's not a static thing it's not governed by time it's governed by the number of ticks so every time 89 ticks go through this this chart the candle will build and that's completely irrespective of time there's no relationship to time other than i've set the charts up uh, to to relate to particular time frames but in terms of the time that a candle takes to build it, it is independent of time it builds according to 89 ticks go through there. As soon as they've gone through, whether it's in a nanosecond or a microsecond or a second, whatever it may be, or a handful of seconds, it then builds the next candle and on it goes. So if the market is fast moving, which it isn't at the moment, then you will see these candles build very quickly. And it's one of the, the advantages of trading a non-time based chart like a tick or a Renko. It reveals that momentum. Can I pass back to you, Diane? Yeah, have you changed the stuff off?
just passing back to Anna. Uh, 